What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Daily Pokepine, the ultimate Kotoko fan channel. If you are new here, you know what to do, subscribe and hit that notification bell. The first thing we'll talk about is Johnson Smith. Johnson Smith is no longer at Asante Kotoko because right now, he has parted ways with the club. You know, Prosperity came with his own assistants, um, David Duclo and John Iguafo, and both of them will be the two assistants to Prosperity. It makes sense that Johnson Smith steps aside, probably go and you know further his license to get the CAFE license so he can be eligible to coach a Ghana Premier League team. So I'm hoping that he goes and work towards his CAFE license. Maybe maybe one day he can come back as the head coach of Asante Kotoko. This like for real, not assistant coach, not interim coach. Maybe he can go and improve himself and come back as the head coach of Asante Kotoko in the future. So wish him all the best. Uh, in his future endeavor. Now, most of you that don't know, Asante Kotoko preseason began yesterday. Prosperity trained with the boys for the first time, and it was a very good scene. Everyone was smiling. The players were happy to return. Uh, you know, the training was going, and players enjoyed themselves. Now, I think about 16 to 18 players were in the training grounds yesterday. Just a few players missing. Fabio Gama joined today, this morning. As I can tell you, Fabio, Fabio Gama is currently in training with Asante Kotoko. He joined them this morning. And whilst at the training ground, some people some people noticed people that were at the, at the stands yesterday. I'm not in Komazi, so I didn't go. They noticed that a player has been training with Asante Kotoko, and the player's name is Clinton Opoku, not me. Clinton Opoku. I think he's 16 years old, and he came from Far Rangers, and is currently training with the club. Kotoko are uh, looking to sign him ahead of next season. For me personally, I think he'll be joining the youth academy that will be set up when Abdul Gazel and the communications director come back from. UK with the Southampton attachment. I think Clinton Obuku will be one of the players to join them in that particular youth project. So I'm hoping that he performs well and you know be one of the best players to come out of Kotoko because what happened with uh, Matthew in Kojo was something I I don't like. I don't know if it's because of his agents or his representatives. I think a player would have gone far if he was still playing for Kotoko right now if he had shown the move to go to Legon cities and decided to play for Kotoko because it doesn't make sense from Kotoko he had um, opportunity to travel to Germany to do trials in Bayern till today I don't know what happened in that trials I don't know what went on I don't know what happened actually but I think Matthew Enim Kujo would have gone far if not outside of the, outside of the country I, I, I feel that he, he would have gone far if he had stayed as a Kotoko that is my opinion because that is what I feel so now Clinton Opoku is joining from Far Rangers. You know, Far Rangers were demoted to Division 3 because of the problems with the GFA. They withdrew from the competition and they were demoted and all that. So he has decided to train with Asante Kotoko. I have no idea if he has signed a contract with the club. I have no idea if he has signed a contract with the club. But what I can tell you is that he is currently training with Kotoko and is hoping to make a move to the club because everybody everybody in Kumasi that I've seen him play everyone I've asked about Clinton Opoku they're telling me that the guy can play football that he's very good uh, uh, he's very talented he's one of the um, talented youth players we have in Ghana so I'm very happy that players like that are coming to Kotoko so I just hope they set the youth academy very soon and players will start um, emerging from the Kotoko Academy and you know making names for themselves and you know bringing more attraction to the club and promoting Kotoko uh, Academy out there to the world. What happened to Enim Kojo today I still think about it I was like oh this guy would have been mad this guy would have been very good at Kotoko but unfortunately people handling him they make decisions so we can't blame him here is the people handling him and taking care of his career his manager and agent so can't blame him so we just hope that Clinton Opoku's situation doesn't turn to turn ten uh, turn out like that of Matthew Enim Kojuba I'm hoping everything turns out well for him at Kotoko so I think that is the short update I want to give you after this video I'll play his highlights for you guys to see uh, the kind of player he is I think he's very good I'm hoping that he performs well if given the first chance or first team opportunity to play for the club so i think that's all for today if you haven't subscribed to that right now follow us on twitter instagram like on facebook and i think that's all for today subscribe if you haven't my name is clinton little not clinton, Obuku, clinton little so till next time guys goodbye